five. We'll find out why some couples experience problems having a second child when their first pregnancy was no problem. It's a condition called secondary infertility. We'll get some answers when a specialist joins us live. Well, Tamron, it is a mystery many couples suffer through. You're able to conceive one child, but you can't conceive a second baby. Well, it's a technical term for it. It's called secondary infertility. It can be a stressful and trying situation, and only one out of every five couples will seek medical attention. This morning, fertility specialist Dr. Randy Morris joins us to talk about this problem and how couples can seek some help. Dr. Morris, thank you for coming on the show. Good morning. Are you seeing more and more uh, patients that are what we call secondary infertility patients? Yes, I am. Uh, and statistics uh, back that up. It seems that from about the mid 60s and the mid 80s, secondary infertility was decreasing. But since then, it's been increasing. And that, that's certainly been the case in my office. Now, we, I talked about a fifth of the couples seek help for secondary uh, infertility. Half of couples seek it for their first time around. Why do you have so many fewer people coming forward? Is it the anxiety? Is it the cost of insurance and paying for all that fertility uh, uh, medication that's out there? Why do you think less people come the second time around? Well, I, I think I think it's perceptions and not necessarily correct ones. I think a lot of them are worried about the cost and they don't uh, understand that Illinois is one of the few states that actually has laws that require most insurances to cover fertility. And I think a lot of them are not aware that they actually have a problem. And I think thirdly, I think some of them are worried that they don't want to go through, as you say, the stress and the anxiety of doing these treatments. Uh, they may have had friends who have done it and, and just didn't seem like they wanted to. You know, I could talk from personal uh, uh, case here. Uh, my wife and I had been trying and we're not successful for a while eventually we had our first son and we had tried a couple of we started the fertility process and they checked ourselves out we couldn't figure out what the problem was the second time around we we're like you know what if it happens it happens we're not gonna go through it it was just too much for us it wasn't a financial it was just an emotional drain on it but there are a lot of causes aren't there for why someone may not be fertile the second time around and I bet one of the biggest reasons is age yeah you're absolutely right and women are delaying childbearing until later in life to complete jobs and education uh, so they're older when they're having their first child they're of course even older when they're having their second so we're talking fewer eggs less right. sperm for the men for the men also well that's controversial okay you know, we have lots of uh, examples of older men mm -hmm. uh, Warren Beatty Tony Randall who are still able to achieve pregnancy there's a little bit of data to suggest that men might have uh, a problem as they get older but it's much less than what we see in women all right another possible cause is that maybe after the first child there were some medical uh, conditions that came up maybe scarring correct right. maybe other problems right so women have a delivery even if it's an uncomplicated delivery it's a fairly traumatic event and so blockage of fallopian tubes scarring in the abdomen or the uterus are things that can occur that weren't around the first time which is why it's so important to see a doctor because it could be something very simple that could be addressed maybe complicated but with the doctor checking into it after your first birth, maybe we can uncover what the problem is the second time around. Absolutely. And we ask patients if they're under age 35, if they've tried for a year, get in to see the doctor. But if they're older than that, they should probably even consider doing it more quickly. Uh, on that medical front, a completely different medical condition could have come up since the delivery of the first baby that could still cause a problem, correct? Absolutely. And ovulation problems, hormone problems, these things are very common to women and they can vary all during their lives. And let's not forget stress. You know, it wasn't until my, my wife was completely off all uh, of, of fertility drugs that she got pregnant. So who knows? Maybe it was coincidence. But in the end, when we thought we didn't have any chance, that's when she got pregnant. You hear about people. They, get a, they go into adoption. Next thing they know, they have a baby. You know, it could be just coincidence. Some studies back that up. But there have been a couple studies that say that stress and uh, treating stress might help the fertility process. Let's go real quick through some tips to avoid infertility. Avoid alcohol, tobacco, caffeine. Why? Absolutely. All of those things have been implicated both in men and in women as making it more difficult to get pregnant and increasing the risk for miscarriage. Include folic acid in the diet for women. Won't help you get pregnant, but does reduce the risk for a certain type of birth defect. Avoid tap water, you say? Well, tap water may be high in some areas in chlorine and chlorine byproducts, which can increase the risk for birth defects or miscarriage. And finally, you say avoid some types of seafood. There are some types that have high levels of mercury contamination, uh, swordfish, shark, grouper, and these things can also lead to miscarriage and birth defects. In the end, you can't hurt to see a fertility specialist uh, in the because you're going to learn so much more from it. And Dr. Randy Morris, thank you so much for making time for us. You have a website where we can send people if they want to contact you and learn more. It's www.ivf1.com. Yes, Good to have right. you on the show. Tamron, back much. to you. All right, David. Thank you very much. We're coming up.